Last week I showed you my adult version of tiramisu, the classical one and my recent favorite version with a twist, made with an extra layer of raspberries soaked in port wine. And I'm linking this recipe in the description box below in case you would like to check it out. And today, as promised, I will show you my baby-friendly version of this dessert. Instead of coffee and alcohol, I like to use hibiscus tea mixed with some freshly squeezed orange juice. Today I'm going to use the same ladyfinger cookies I have left over after making the real tiramisu. But if you are looking for a sugar-free replacement, you should check out my recipe for this baby-friendly sponge cake, which I will also link for you in the description box below. Okay, so to make the baby tiramisu, I start by brewing a bag of hibiscus tea. I simply cover it with around 100 ml of boiling water and I let it infuse for around 1 to 2 minutes. Then I remove the tea bag and I let it cool down a bit before adding juice from half an orange. And then I set it on the side to completely cool down. To make the cream, I simply whip the leftover mascarpone cheese with some cream. Both of them should be cold, straight from the fridge. And the proportions depend on what I have left over. This time I'm using 200 grams mascarpone and 200 grams cream. But I did previously use only 100 gram mascarpone and 300 grams of cream. And once I even made it with pure whipped cream. And each time it was a success. I also like to add a quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon to bring up the natural sweetness of the mascarpone and cream. And I whip it all until well combined and thick. Now to build our baby tiramisu, I start with a thin layer of cream. And by the way, I'm using a quadratic dish 15 times 15 centimeters and 5 centimeters deep. Next come the ladyfinger cookies or the sugarless sponge cake, which I dip in the tea and orange juice mixture. Then another layer of cream, followed by sliced ripe banana. But of course you could use any other fruits, including frozen berries. This tiramisu needs to rest in the fridge overnight, which gives plenty of time for the fruits to defrost. Now to finish, the last layer of cream, and a sprinkle of unsweetened cocoa powder. Now I cover this dish very well and I let it rest in the fridge overnight before serving. I hope your little one would love this tiramisu. And if you'd like to stay up to date with all my newest family-friendly recipes, make sure to subscribe. Mm -hmm.